well here what we are going to discuss is that what do you mean by main activity what do you mean by android manifest.xml and what are the resources what are the different different resources in the android okay we'll begin with the manifest file so this is the manifest file we have right now what do you mean by this manifest file how you are going to define the manifest file so manifest file is that thing where actually entry point or your application is going to get begin right can you see something over here now let me run this app first how, how you are going to run the app can you see this play button over here just tap on the play over here just tap on the play and you can see your application would be running right let me say app over here select the app which which module you want to run if you say app it would be running the app otherwise it would be running the your another module this thing means whenever you play or if you run the application whenever you run the application your program or your or whenever you are going to click on the app icon whenever you are clicking on the app icon what should be started at the first who decides that that is going to be decided by this some 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 code code snippet called as intent filter that is going to be decided by something called as intent filter intent filter will decide that right so presently I'm going to come back to this in detail in upcoming sessions I'm going to come back to this in upcoming sessions how or what do you mean by intent and intent filters we have separate session on that right we have separate session on that okay so intent filter is there that activity would be getting started whose action is main and the category is launcher whose action is main and the category is launcher that would be the first activity whenever you are clicking on the app icon that would be beginning or coming in front of you okay now if you can see carefully this is the optional we are discussing about the manifest file and inside manifest file there is a one tag manifest tag which decides what is the name of your application or the root package over here and it is having one manifest tag and under the manifest tag you can find something called as application tag over here so this is the application tag make sure that Android application so there are some metadata like icon what would be the icon for the Android application that you can tell over here right this application is nothing but can you see this over here it is showing you some preview kind of thing see this is nothing but the icon or this is nothing but the icon for your application that it is showing you over here then what is a label what is a label so this is the label weekend app would be the name of your app right and what is the theme of your application that is going to be decided by the application tag okay now allow backup true and the support RTL that we'll discuss later on presently we'll not discuss that thing but presently you'd be needing what is the icon what is the label what is the theme okay so inside a manifest tag there is an application tag right inside a manifest tag there is an application tag and inside application tag there are four heart components of the Android Android is having four heart components first is activity you can check it activity right then services okay then broadcast receivers here they have taken only receiver and the content providers and something called as content provider these are the heart components of the Android if in your application what I'm saying if in your application if you are using multiple components among these broadcast receivers content providers services and the activities are the heart components of the Android so if your application is having 10 activities you need to mention that 10 activities over here 
if your application is having five services that need to be mentioned or registered more precisely over here right so this is the place where you are telling what you can say how many applications you have how many activities you have how many services you have means you are telling Android system up front I have these many components make sure that right okay so this is the one thing I'll keep this as it is or I'll, I'll come back with earlier code this have you observed that whenever you install the application it is asking you this application is going to use what you can say permissions different different permissions this application is going to use your contacts your SMS your files external storage internal storage that is going to be defined like this uses permission and you can say internet I'm saying my this application is using internet so from the marshmallow or yes from the marshmallow they have changed the permission model they have changed the permission model means dangerous permissions and the normal permissions are the two types I'm going to come back afterwards in upcoming sessions you would be learning that what are the permissions but this is the significance of your manifest file so all these things you need to tell to the system in this manner right well this is all about what you can say manifest file so keep watching so we are going to come with some next demos like what do you mean by detailed components what are the components we are going to discuss in the next topic okay